Alignment is a journey, not a destination. And I think a lot of people get that wrong where they feel like alignment's this one journey process. And when you go from point A to point B, you've hit alignment, fabulous. You never need to do anything else again, wrong. Alignment is a process and you will go through seasons and phases in your life where you feel in alignment. And then six months later, you might think, oh God, I'm not feeling in alignment anymore. Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So if you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Emma Mumford. I'm the UK's leading law of attraction expert. I'm an award-winning life coach and mentor, best-selling author of Positively Wealthy and Spiritual Queen. And I also have my podcast, Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast, that is available on any platform that distributes podcasts. And here on my channel, we cover all things self-help, spirituality, law of attraction, and manifestation. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this video and all of the videos here on my channel. So today's video is specifically about alignment and joy. Now, if you've been following me on social media, you will have seen I have my amazing new free five day challenge happening from May the 2nd to May the 6th. So when this video comes out, we've just started, but don't worry, you can still join us if you haven't seen my social media or newsletter posts on this. And it's a fun five day challenge, which enhances on everything I'm gonna share here in this video today. So I'll pop the link in the description below for you and of course you can come along and join us and get started because we're doing it this week as you're watching this video so you don't want to miss it. So alignment and joy then, why is this so important? Well it's a theme that I have been diving into a lot more in my one-to-one -one sessions in my own inner world and just really feel passionate about talking about at the moment, hence why I've created the challenge, hence why I've created something which you're gonna see very soon. Um, and I'm really feeling inspired to talk more about alignment and joy. So alignment and joy is something that a lot of us strive to and probably think, you know, we want alignment to manifest our desires and we want joy as well because who doesn't want joy in life, right? everybody wants joy in their life. So how do we get to that stage? Well, alignment has to happen first. Joy is really the after effect of the work that we do. So alignment is important first of all, because alignment can mean many things. But when I talk about alignment, especially in this instance, it's really aligning with the true version of yourself and aligning with your desires. So with the law of attraction and manifestation, we have to align with the version of ourselves that has our desire, like that energetic frequency. So think of it like a radio station where you're on one frequency, your desire's on another frequency, and it's just that fine tuning that aligning which brings you on the same frequency and brings it into your reality. So alignment is a key, key step in the law of attraction process, but what goes into alignment and how do we reach alignment? And I really feel the first step to that is expressing our true authentic self because I ask this question to my clients all the time and I ask it in my manifestation membership. I'm like, are you truly expressing the true authentic version of yourself? Because if you're not being true to yourself and honoring your needs, your desires, you know, all the things that you want and are true to you. So like if you're a very creative person, for example, are you expressing that creativity? Are you showing the real side to you, to your loved ones, to your work colleagues? In your work, are you showing up as your true authentic self? The main reason why we experience misalignment is because we're just not quite in alignment. And that could mean that we aren't honoring ourselves fully and that maybe we've let self-care or self-love slack a little bit and we're feeling a bit overwhelmed, we're feeling misaligned and we're not feeling all the good vibes we normally feel because we're not giving ourselves or honoring ourselves fully or even showing up fully as our true authentic self. So I really want to challenge you to think about that first and foremost of are you showing up as your true authentic self in all areas of your life? Maybe you could journal upon that and see what comes up for you. And then when you are showing up as your true self, and then we're looking at misalignment, it's looking at shifts that need to occur. Alignment is a journey, not a destination. And I think a lot of people get that wrong where they feel like, alignment's this one journey process. And when you go from point A to point B, you've hit alignment, fabulous. You never need to do anything else again, wrong. Alignment is a process. And you will go through seasons and phases in your life where you feel in alignment. And then six months,
month later, you might think, oh God, I'm not feeling in alignment anymore. We are humans. We are designed to grow and evolve. Our purpose here as spiritual beings, as souls in human form, is to grow and evolve. So as we're growing and evolving, our version of alignment is going to grow and evolve as well as we're being challenged to align again into a new version of ourselves, an up-leveled version of ourselves, right? So our alignment is going to shift and we're going to have moments where we feel in pure alignment and then we're going to have moments where we feel alignment in one area of our life but maybe not in another area of our life and then we're going to have seasons where we feel in full alignment and everything's a season everything is a natural rhythm as such so it's kind of normal like it's kind of okay to go through seasons of misalignment because those seasons of misalignment give us a beautiful opportunity to reflect to reevaluate and to reprioritize what is important to us so it gives us almost that pivotal moment or pause from the universe to say, hey, what's not feeling good to you anymore? What can we shift here now to get this feeling good? So a really good example of this is over the last few years, I've been making some pivots with my business and I've had to constantly realign. I've had to constantly, probably every three months, like check in, be like, right, okay, what's not feeling good now? Like, what do I need to shift now? And I honestly believe it's been like a year and a half process of like pivots, checking in, changing things, trying things, tweaking things, all the above, to get here now, a year and a half later and be like, yeah, I feel in full alignment with each and every area. But that is because every single area has been up for review. Every single area has been tweaked, pivoted, shifted, and it has been a process, right? So we can go through seasons in our life where something like that, you know, can be uh, like a shift that needs to happen and where we need to realign on a big scale. It could just be a small realignment that needs to happen in our life on a daily basis, which could just be a shift in perception. So the way that we create alignment is by creating a shift or change. So like for me, I was like, okay, something has to change here. I have to try something different. So I looked at my strategy. I looked at what I was doing and like what felt good and what didn't feel in alignment anymore. So it really took honesty from myself to say, what needs to fall away now? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to shift or change to create the shift that I'm wanting back into alignment or into the new alignment as such. So I had to really look at what was no longer serving me, honoring my needs and honoring what I truly wanted to do and then creating that shift and change by taking action and tweaking something. Again, it could be a really small thing. It doesn't have to be on a large scale like I'm explaining here, but again, you can see that it takes awareness first and foremost of the misalignment and where we're feeling that misalignment in our life. And then it takes honesty of like, okay, what needs to fall away now? What is not serving me? And then it takes shift and action to then try something new, to shift because old ways won't open new doors, right? Um, so again, we need to create a shift, try something new to realign. And that is a process sometimes, like it definitely has been for me with the business. I didn't get it right first time, but I learned things at every single stage and I learned, okay, that felt good for a while, but actually, yeah, not sure. I'm gonna tweak that again. So it's, it's a constant check-in and pivot with yourself of when you're feeling in alignment, fantastic, celebrate that. Hell yes, we want that. But when you're feeling misalignment in maybe one or multiple areas of your life, you know, it's giving you the opportunity to reevaluate, to reprioritize and reflect upon what is working and what's not working. What is in alignment with you here and now versus what's not? And a really another practical thing that I've done this year um, as I've gone through my Saturn return over the last few years and I'm still going through it, is actually with my style and with my fashion. And I've made a commitment with myself to stop buying into fast fashion, to stop buying clothes regularly and actually create a wardrobe that is in alignment with me. Because I would go through my wardrobe like every six months and declutter everything because I love doing that. And I think I've worn that once I hate that. Why did I even buy it? I don't like the colors. So again, like I've grown and evolved myself over that time frame. So what felt in alignment those six months ago may not feel in alignment to me here and now. So I've gone through a growth process and an evolution and journey myself. So my alignment has changed with that. So now I ask myself when I'm wanting to buy something new, I'm like, is this in alignment with 2022 Emma? Is this in alignment with myself 
here and now. And I ask myself that because it's so important because I could look at a top or a dress and be like, oh, that's really cute. And I'm like, but is that me? Is that last year me or is that me here and now who is gonna wear that like five times a week, <laughs> love it and reuse it and have it for many years to come? So that's actually really helped me in terms of clothing. Um, and of course it's helped me in my business that as well. So ask yourself, you know, is that in alignment with you here and now this year, 2022 or further if you're watching this video in the future? So that's a really, really important thing to do. So alignment is expressing your true authentic self. It's also aligning with your desires do you have healthy boundaries and are you making decisions based upon your alignment or are you saying yes to things that aren't in alignment that don't feel good and actually take you further away from your desires so alignment is actually making empowered decisions that bring you closer to your desires and bring you closer to alignment rather than further away and doing things that don't feel good to you so have a think about that as well are your decisions and things you're doing in your life bringing you closer to your desires or bringing you further further away. That can also be why misalignment happens as well as when we're making decisions that aren't reflecting our alignment, that aren't reflecting the life or path that we want to lead to create that very manifestation in our life. So this is a universe again, highlighting that for you and saying, come on, you want that desire, you want this, how are you getting there? Like you're moving further away. Come on, we've got to pivot back onto that path that is going to get you that reality that you want. So it is a reminder, it's a reflection period, and it's a great opportunity when you feel misalignment to evaluate and see what your priorities are and where you should be shifting your priorities and making better decisions that are more in alignment with the desired reality that you want. So joy then. So once we've come back into alignment and we've made those shifts, we've made those pivots and you're making change to create alignment. And again, like I said, that is gonna be a journey. That is gonna be a process that you check in with maybe every six months, maybe every three months, maybe every year, only you can tell. And obviously everybody's journey will be different on that. But joy is then created from that space of presentness. So when we come back into alignment, we then create this container of present dayness where we're present, and we're feeling like, huh, I feel good. So joy can be a natural effect of alignment, definitely. It may not be too hard to create that when you're feeling in alignment, but as you're going along that process of shifting and realigning and, and evolving into this new you, this new phase, this new season you as such, Joy is so important to create because when we can experience joy, we're creating all these positive vibrations of we're going to align with ourselves more if we're feeling and experiencing joy because we're honoring ourselves, we have good boundaries, making better decisions. So you can see joy is very much a byproduct of the alignment anyway. It's not necessarily a big thing we have to strive for. But when you're in that process of reaching alignment and obviously working towards alignment, we need to feel and experience joy to help that process along. So think about how you can spark joy in your day-to-day -day life. Ask yourself now, do you feel like you experience joy in your day-to-day -day life? Do you feel like you experience that on a regular basis? As adults, our lives can get very serious. So it's always a great reminder to spark some joy, spark some fun with yourself, your inner child, if you do inner child work, um, and really ignite that fun into your life. So focus on fun, focus on joy, and cultivating joy in your daily habits, in all the things on your to-do list that you do daily and as you do that you will feel more in alignment because when you're doing things that bring joy you're honoring yourself you're already making those better decisions because you're saying is that going to bring me joy no nope. okay I'm not going to do it is that going to bring me joy yes okay fabulous let's do that so again joy is also bringing you more into alignment because you're aligning with that energy and joy is the ultimate creator so really joy and alignment go hand in hand together and co-creating both along that journey helps you to then get to that final product that final a result of abundance and manifestation because you've aligned with yourself, you've come into alignment, you're expressing your true self, you're feeling joy here in the present moment, which allows you to become that magnet to your desires as you align to the version of yourself that has your desires. So I hope that makes sense. And of course, I'm gonna go into so much more depth with this in my free five-day challenge, which is five days to alignment and joy, where I'm gonna walk through practically 
through this process and give you so many powerful tips and tools each day and do live shifting exercises with you to help bring you into alignment and experience joy. So please do come on over and join me in my free challenge. If it's past the 6th of May, you can still join the challenge. Um, the videos are gonna stay up so you can do it in your own time and experience those shifts as well. But please let me know how you get on with this as well. How can you spark joy this week? How can you come more into alignment with yourself? I hope this video has given you some great tips and tools and given you some great questions that you can ask yourself and actions you can take this week to create those shifts back to alignment. So thank you so much guys for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I replied to them all. Don't forget the free challenge information is in the description below and you can also join my free law of attraction support group where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things law of attraction and spirituality. I hope you have a fabulous week, whatever you are up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be on Friday. Lots of love.